Hello, Divine Sunshiners. This is Divine Sunshine coming to you with a quickie. Right, this is what I'm going to call this because I'm going to make sure that I do it in 15 minutes. Matter of fact, let me say the timer here so I'll be in and out of here on this because I came down here a little late. Where's my timer? Okay. I'll be nice, say 20, but I don't want to. I really want to. What you call it now? 22. Oh, 22 minutes. That's mastery. Okay, let's do that. That's 15, well, 15, 16, 22. I like that. Okay, clocking and starting. Okay, all right, starting now. Reading starts now. 22. Quickie in 22 minutes. Okay, and I see the number 44. So let's kind of look into the energies. Let's do my, I wish I had it like a little thing. Say, spread the welcome, move the energy so we can welcome the angels to come in. And let's see what's on the Divine Master's mind here lately. Um, here, let's get a kind of finger on the pole. So looking at now, let's kind of see what's the overarching theme. Clear. Ooh, I'll knock that out. What's the overarching theme of what's going on with your divine mask and speak? Ooh, temptation. Oh, that jumped right on out. Okay, can you clarify that for me, please? What do you mean by temptation? Clear. Okay, so right now we have temptation. We have never-ending story. So something you're tired of being tempted by something. And you know now that the higher power is stepping in. I did not bring my glasses down. So pray for me. Temptation. Let me see if by reading this, maybe I might get inspired by something. Okay, angels, work with my eyes, please, so I may see. Thank you. That'd be most appreciated. Ooh, a temptation means attachment. The material world is my playground, but I need to be careful not to be attached to outcome. This is a warning to me to watch for access and to know what's not healthy for me. When this card shows up, it's a sign that I am focused on the material realm and need to be aware of any excess or addictive behaviors, my own or that of others. So again... Right now, it's some attachment and some attachment to some addictions. Now, I see right here, we got the gold here, which is material things like money, you know, trying to get it by any means necessary. This is what I'm picking up uh, as far as, you got to stay on so I can see your clock this time. Um, this is what um, pretty much is what's being tempted by that. So that worldly thing. So, you know maybe i don't know why i'm looking at that I see this apple like eve so eve would be to me be represented by some kind of of a woman kind of thing or emotions is tempting you to kind of you know mess with you and kind of get you out of your peaceful state of mind like adam and eve in the garden uh, uh in the garden um you know just really trying to persuade you to come out of that these addictions really making you come out of being really divine, you know, like God told me, you know, the nakedness, which is really being the pure essence of you. You know, they were all right until they ate this apple. And then I was like, who told you was naked? <laughs> you know, who told you you was the X, Y, and Z? I didn't tell you that. See, that's why I ain't want your behind eating off that damn apple off the day, off the tree in the first day. It wasn't apple. It was another type of fruit. But anyway, I ain't want you eating that damn fruit in the day on first place. Um, and so then it looks like right now you're opening your eyes, but I'm also feeling the divine masculine saying, yeah, well, in some ways, that's not the only thing I'm being tempted. I'm being tempted by being to be divine. This is what he's saying. And so that's a really kind of like now when you're talking about, he's saying that Adam and Eve story, you know, is really about opening your eyes to the world. You know, that's really saying it's other things, other dimensions, other than what you used to seeing all the time this is what he's telling me and so i'm like oh okay and so right now it's like a never in the story because i'm very weary by being caught up my back is on fire so i definitely know this is him um is really being kind of leery uh about being about the story it's never ending cycle of being in my head this is what i keep on saying in my head i know time is up time is coming up real soon about 
uh, being here with this this heart issues, these matters of the heart. I want to go the distance. I want to win the race. Spirit is really talking to me, opening up my third eye. I'm seeing some more things going on. So I'm really feeling like I'm getting pushed, but I'm at the same time. I got these addictions and I'm just really feeling in the divine mask and spirit. Just a feeling of just being very weary and very weighed down and very overwhelmed right now with a lot of stuff that's going on. Okay. Can you give me some insight? As far as I go into this, what's exactly going on? Clear. Okay, y'all got to help me keep on here in 60 minutes. What's exactly going on? Divine Masculine, talk to me. Okay, oh, you brought out two cards. There's two or three. Okie dokie, whose book is this one? This is gold. We got the number five. Excuse me. The tree. I am here to stay and grow. I am the health of your body. Okay, a sign of health and longevity and the imperative to put down one's roots to ensure a secure future. Okay, this card presents uh, a presence could indicate a health condition that is inherited. Combine this card with previous cards of the house for, yeah, that's what we got, okay, house, and we have a tree house that speaks of security, but great family responsibility and possible ill health through stress, okay, the tree here also depicts the tree of life, okay, a spiritual symbol that has its roots in the most ancient civilization, wherever it is in Babylon, Egyptian, or Jewish images of the tree. It speaks here of antiquity and ancient roots. The card meaning can also be seen in the rainbow, perhaps suggest suggesting that the true health is to be found in aligning ourselves between which is above and that which is below. So within, so without. The harmony of colors reflecting through the tree symbolizes the holistic nature of healing and life itself. So really what you're feeling right now with this temptation, this addiction, if you can kind of get rid of this and really look within and get the answers and pull this out, you feel like you'll be in good health. This is really whatever it is, it's really heavily weighing on divine master to the point that this card is showing that it may be causing health issues okay um being really weighed down you really want a sense of security because i see this saying about the tree house but you got some great family responsibilities and it's really weighing down on you okay all right then we have um the next card which is a four and that's house that's came in reverse, though. So this means really emphasizing this. So a sanctuary is to be found in the house, showing us family and home. The sanctuary that offers us shelter from the world. In the Gilded Revere, we have the house depicted in such a way as to entice us home again to the nostalgic place of childhood fairy tales. The house is built of gnarled roots. And suggesting a place of permanent fixture and security. So right now, Divine Master, you're looking right now. This home is the issue. But right now, this came in verse, and I'm getting a fork of the road to say right now, wherever you are, this home is not a place of security. It's not someplace where you can grow your roots or you have a great family thing. However, that is exactly some place that you would actually like to be. Uh, but right now, that is not where you are. And this is why it came in reverse. Uh, yeah, so this is what was going on. Um, can we get some more cards to kind of clarify? Let me ask this. What's going on? What is the, what, can you kind of clear? Give me a story through these cards for me, please. This is one. I'm going to do it for, ooh. 
Oh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Five cards. Thank you. Okay, we have marriage in reverse. So, uh, right now, now this is a story, and I'm not going to go to ask about this, because you pretty much telling me. Right now, those of you who are your divine masculines that are in a marriage or a serious commitment of a relationship, uh, right now, he's saying, I'm not happy. This is not where I want to be. It's been a lot of toil and labor being in this relationship. He feels in some ways he has not been in mastery or this has not been a place where he's been the official person, like the person of authority that could be able to, um, you know, the one that makes the decisions, the one that get done, especially if they're in the marriage, you know, you, they're supposed to be like the head of household. Um, however, through this, he has been maturing. He's learned some things, some light has been shedded on some things he's kind of really learned where his location and where his place is supposed to be in the world um it's made him softer but it has also aged him and say it's made him somebody that he does not not the man that he had pictured him to be. That's what I heard. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> it's, a, it, it's even changed his sense of style. Okay. Are you stylish? <laughs> okay. It's changed your sense of style. Okay. Interesting. It's like this. This isn't. Some of them say this ain't my style of dress. It's just that you know. Yeah. Some of them have lost weight being in. That's why I'm picking up. And some of them say I've gained weight by being in this relationship. Okay. Um. Definitely, this is not lovers. Lovers came in reverse. Um, saying no, but it's made me have more emphasis on the lovers wanting to become really truly lovers. Seeing two doves here. He's saying, cause this is this right here isn't what's written in stone. Really, the true love is, and that lasts forever. Okay. That's it. So that's your current situation. I got that. Um, but we are done time. Eight minutes doing good. Clear. Can you tell me as far as um, what are your feelings about the divine feminine? All of this. Okay, that's the story, and I'm gonna need clarifiers for each one. <laughs> Oh, you recognize now? Okay, interesting. Clear. Clarify this. Okay, I'm going to remember to read the letter. Okay, remind me again, please. Because you know my mind, how it gets. I appreciate the reminder. Okay, so now, what's happening within love when he thinks about the divine feminine? He says, I want to make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Um, he wants it to really be like this, where he's just really open and vulnerable and just really doldly 
love on you and just loving on you and you know kissing and you're like oh my god just stop this stop you know how you kind of like they stop it but at the same time you're like come on just keep on kissing me like yeah, if you don't stop boy we out in public you know man, hit me and pinch you on your butt and doing whatever kind of little stuff that they do playfully with you and stuff and you know like that so you know this is it rubbing you on your back and whatever he just wants to be able to do all this stuff openly with you uh but he knows that he's got to clean some stuff up okay uh he's know that right now he's at the point that he's trying to really break out of the shell you've seen they talk about temptation addictions this keeps on telling him to play himself much smaller that low self-esteem this is kind of what it represents too as well telling himself the inner child is pretty much doing the work and telling him you know you're much bigger than this you know you're playing yourself small you don't belong here in this situation this long situation is much smaller than what it is it's making you smaller than what you actually are uh, he knows that he feels there's chemistry there's strong magnetic attraction like when he's with you looks in your eyes you know he just he just really feels like it's like it's like ooh, like this you know he has to stop himself from really wanting to, you know, just really be doing things that on the outside would be inappropriate. I think I seen that in somebody else's video. They had stated that that it's just that attraction, just like this, just drawn like a moth to a flame or like a magnet to another magnet. It's just that way. Uh, the yin, you know, because you know you his yin to his yang. Uh, the divine feminine is just really strong. Uh, his emotions are becoming stronger too. His divine feminine um, essence within him is becoming stronger as well. Okay, and it's just like really, it's a burning flame. It's an eternal flame that's burning for his divine feminine. Uh, we have right now what he feels towards you is he wants to flirt. Uh, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, so this is the others will be you, you know, instead of extending it just to himself or in this situation with this person or this situation, he wants to extend it out. It's like, you know, to me, I'm picking up and he's saying, you know, I'm just always been expressing to myself, you know, love or when it's as needed or when I believe that you're uh, worthy or honorable of it. Okay, I heard you. Worthy and honorable of giving this love, you know, I kind of like dole it out, I dish it out to you every now and then, you know, yeah, okay, you look like you're worthy, let me throw you a little something, little kiss, a little something like this, but, you know, uh, this I'm learning how to kind of now, let's give, give it unconditionally and not be selfish with it, um, because um, he says, it says unfinished symphony in reverse, but he's saying, you know, but I want to finish this symphony. You know, it's been long enough that this symphony has not been finished. So, you know, really, I want to become lighthearted about it. I've been flirting with the idea in my mind, you know, kind of saying, oh, I don't know. I'm kind of scared. Rather to try this out or not, not too sure. Okay. Then we have here past life relationship. Okay. Uh, you have known each other before. This is coming to him now. He feels like it's a change of energies that, you know, before you was feeling it, he wasn't feeling it. Now he's telling you, you know what, well, yeah, I feel it's some past life connection, just like you feel as a past life connection. So there go that even exchange. Uh, he knows that really right now where he is, uh, someone about me said that don't bring out the milk and honey like it's really... Uh, all that in the bag of chips being in this relationship is some things that when he thinks about it, it kind of brings up some old files. What do you mean by that? Why do you, you think it ain't going to be no milk and honey? You got to explain that to me. You got some explaining to do, Lucy. You got some bad memories or something? Can you explain that to me, please? Oh, I got these other cards here. No, I already did that. I'm sorry. Okay, you say focus. <laughs> there you go again. Y'all know the day I'm gonna play as usual. Um, he's saying, you know what? He's again this divine masculine. All of them are saying the same thing. Is they're waiting for this sign? They're waiting for this message. This divine intervention message, the message that gives them the green light to say yes, go on. He said it has not been. He's got the past life. He knows about it, but somebody, it look like he's like it's not clear enough. Uh, it, he ain't really don't know what to do with that information, 
or something is like you know like sometimes you get some things say it's got a kind of little click for you to say yeah that's it and he's like mm, it ain't clicked yet to say you know what he ain't got that message in the body he's looking for but he knows at the meantime he's got to kind of chop away until he get these answers so he's chopping things that are dead that's kind of blocking him from this past life because there's some issues and some maybe some past beliefs or something that's been passed on from this past life is thing that's kind of getting in the way he said he know he got to chop at it to get rid of it okay all right trying to do my 22 okay and clear um what is the message that you want to tell the divine feminine okay you got two right here okay Oh, oh, sugar. oh, they say the message you want to say is, I love you. Oh, you're going to try to get me crying. <sighs> well, you shouldn't have said this then. Okay, if you that well, you know I'm a cry baby. I told you I'm sensitive if you're lately. Okay, it says I love you. These are very important words. Okay. I just been crying over this. Oh my god, on this this I'm about to say this show. Listen with your heart. You are well, maybe it helped me to see too. Thank you. Uh you are listening to what is being said to you but you need to listen with a loving heart listen with your heart that's true i've been saying this on this show for the longest so i guess that was the divine masculine speaking through me on this channel and it says turn your heart light turn your heart light turn on your heart light okay i'm reading i'm reading allow yourself in this moment to reflect on time when you experience love so i would say that the divine masculine say think about a time where you have just really truly had um was in love those of you all that said deuces to the divine masculine or those of you all that still in they messed up my dad gonna mess care and my makeup on your behind can do that you talk about makeup makeup removal okay i know that's you um and you did, did that. Thank you. Uh, and that's just like, yeah, that's enough. All that mushy stuff. I can't get with it. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, turn on your heart light. I told you all to do that. Bonus thing. Can I read the letter? Because this is the letter he said. Don't give me the crying no more about this on it. Because this is about third time. Uh, Spirit told me before then. He told me to read letter 176. This is the letter from all divine masculines to collect this to the divine feminine. I haven't read this a long time, but 176. I pray I can see, although you made me cry, so I should be able to see. Here we go. And that's why I say, I don't want nobody but you. I don't want nobody but you. I don't want nobody, no, nobody but you. Okay, that's Kurt Franklin's song. Okay, so now. Here it is, letter 176, from your divine masculine to you, love letter. I want you to know that everything that you feel for me, I feel for you. And that goes without, with everything, the love and the confusion, the erratic swings and emotions, and the strongest feelings of complete love and peace within me. I'm with you. It freaks me out. I'm trying to deal with it and rationalize what is going on. It's really difficult to explain. I said that already. And I picked this letter way before. But the words discombobulated is what I feel like. I am delighted in all of you. And this incredible love and connection I feel towards you. But then I suddenly get extreme fear go through me. And it makes me shy away from it and push it away. It's so visceral, the feeling. Really intense fear. I know I love you. I know that we are each other's other half. I know that, but I'm scared to go further. I will, though. I will. Love, 
will win. Unbelievable. That you can't tell me that, like I said, you and you're trying to fight something like that. And spirit, how they put it together, spirit told me 176 before I had even started drawing the cards. And then you see me just read that, and I draw the cards here. And everything that was in the cards was the message that was in the letter, which really validates to show that this definitely came from I'm gonna get you my makeup. <laughs> Um, I know you say I'm beautiful. This forget it. Okay. Um, validates what's in this message that came from the divine masculine collective and from the spirit. So I want to say thank you to my divine masculine for you being here present and being the voice. And also, um, for the rest of the divine mask, because I asked him, his spirit to be present here to get that message out. So I thank you so very much. Mm, love you. Um, and then also say hug myself. And so then that's to you too. Uh, and so then if you would like a reading, this is my quickie, Divine Sunshine's quickie. So if you would like a reading with me, go to, uh, Divine Unisouls 11, um, uh, dot com. And then you'll go to my website and it's there. Or if you want to just email me, you can go to, um, W, I mean, you can go to Divine unisouls11 at gmail.com that's why i get mixed up um with that and so uh that's another way for you to be able to um <laughs> for you to um reach me as well okay i thank you i hope you enjoyed this quickie from message from the divine masculine to the divine feminine collective uh i'm thinking tomorrow that i want to do um uh, what does the angel say that the divine feminist should be doing with uh, when their DM is in a karmic uh, situation? I want to kind of visit uh, visit that um, next. So we'll look at that um, next off uh, with that. Um, let me freak me out because it looks like I seen him on this side. So that probably was. But anyway. Um, so then that's what I want to visit. So I pray that I will do that and I commit to it because I know how my mind goes all over and things happen. And I have my intentions are good, but then psh, that's what goes on. All right, then. So until next time, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascended. Namaste. Namaste.